You guys are always asking me how stable the canopy is when it's lifted off onto its legs. So you know what, let's lift it off, push it around and find out. Well, hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea on how stable the canopy is, short of like literally backing the car into the canopy, which I have done a couple of times, I, uh, I have to admit, trying to back under it in the garage and not judging that distance too well. But honestly, it's pretty stable. We've slept up in the tent, we've lifted off quite a few times and it's always felt pretty safe. Yeah, if anything, it's kind of more, well, it feels more stable than when it's on a car sometimes, because yeah. I don't know, you just get a bit less rocky sometimes, as in like the suspension. Yeah, because like when the, um, the canopy's on the car and the wind hits it, you do kind of uh, sway and move mm. with the suspension, but on the legs, she's as solid as a house. So even though it's on really flat ground right now, we've actually lifted this canopy off on some pretty uneven surfaces yeah. and same thing, like it's still pretty good. Yeah, it's almost like more beneficial on those uneven surfaces because you can actually adjust each leg individually and get the canopy nice and level, which uh, makes for a really good night's yeah, sleep. Yeah, you don't have to worry about falling asleep with your head downhill yeah, or falling into each other. Yeah, waking up a massive headache other. in the morning as well. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, we're sitting up in our rooftop tent. You have to trust us that it is while the canopy is lifted off the car, but yeah, it's still nice and stable and this is, yeah, just comfy. Absolutely, like, and it's hard to tell just watching a video, I know, but try and judge by the nice relaxed look on our faces while we rock it forwards and backwards, side to side without any issues whatsoever. One thing to keep in mind is that the longer the canopy, the more stable it's going to be on its feet. And this one's certainly a long one, measuring in at 2.1 metres. I suppose the width would kind of have the same effect, but you don't really get as many options. Anyway, let me show you what difference the length makes. So here we have Bianca playing the role of a small canopy with not much room between her front and rear legs. And you'll see with uh, just a gentle push, over she goes. <laughs> Are you okay? Anyway, so Bianca now assumes the role of a longer canopy with some more distance between her front and rear legs. You'll see with the same amount of force, she's so much more stable. So that's the difference the length can make. Of course, the width doesn't really uh, change that much, so you can kind of push her over quite easily. Just so you guys know, no Biancas were harmed in the making of this video. Well, hopefully that's given you a bit of peace of mind if you're considering a lift-off canopy, but we're a bit concerned with how stable they are. Honestly, we've never had any issues with ours, and if you're still concerned, just load it up to the max, because the heavier they are, the more stable they are. Yep, and <laughs> keep in mind that uh, I wouldn't sleep anywhere that's going to result in death or destruction, and I do Very happily true. camp in this when it's off the back of the ute, so... Yeah, absolutely. Pretty Actually, trustworthy. if you do want to make them a little bit more stable, I have seen people run some straps in a sort of X pattern between the legs. Cross bracing. Yeah, I'll pop some photos up to show what that looks like, but apparently that makes them a lot more stable. Thanks so much for watching today's quick video, and if you guys ever have any questions about the car, the canopy, or pretty much anything else, make sure you let us know, because we have a lot of fun making these quick videos to answer your questions. Anyway, until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Happy camping!